two, normal Christianity, living with ordinary people. We're to do life together. Are we going to live life ordinary together? Or are we going to live it as Christ being the pattern of our lives? Are we going to identify ourselves with Christ in the way that we live out the pattern of our lives? Are we going to be born again by the Spirit of God and the structure to live life rightly? What does that mean to live life rightly? That means living a life that has no sexual immorality, no idolatry, no fornication, but changing a pattern after chasing Christ Jesus who laid hold of you. Verse 15 says, All of us then who are mature should take a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. We all want different levels here in this parking lot in our walk with Christ Jesus. But Paul has strictly given us a pattern of how to live our life. It is to live a life that is in relationship authentically and intimately with Christ Jesus. Paul says we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. So are you here today walking in that street or are you walking in your own? You know, the message was that the start is to know Jesus as your personal Savior. That's the easy part. The hard part is calling Him Lord and walking a life after the pattern that He's given us. Walking holy and blameless in His sight. You know, my message has changed as I grow and mature in Christ. I can no longer just tell you and tickle your ears. i got to tell you the truth. And the truth is, is there's only repentance in Jesus Christ. And once you repent and live the life of Jesus Christ, you got to change the pattern of the way you live. Time changes, but the truth never does. The truth of God's Word is there is a pattern for us to live our life by. And that is to press on towards the high calling in Christ Jesus. Amen? I love all you guys. It's such a blessing to be here and to be a part of y'all. But this right here is our pattern. The Word of God is something that you need to get into every day. Moment by moment, living out His pattern and not your own. you got to quit putting confidence in your flesh and put confidence in the Word of God and press on towards the high mark of Christ Jesus. Amen? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord we thank You today for Your Word, Lord, that You're giving us an example through Paul who was the Hebrew of Hebrew was wealthy, lived in a good home. Had everything going in his life on the outside. But Lord, you came and met him on a road, Damascus. On the road to Damascus. You come down and you changed him from the inside out. Lord, you give me the analogy as we get in the shower, we bathe ourselves, but we're not clean until we apply the soap we start lathering up and getting the dirt off of the outside of the body. But it's the same way on the inside of our soul, in our heart, where you want to reside is we have to clean that up. And the way we do that is we have to take in the Word of God. Not just take it in, but we got to apply it to our lives. Lord, for my prayer for this group of people here today is they take the Word of God and they apply it to their life. Every word, every jot, every tittle. That we don't change it to try to make it fit. We don't chop it up to fit our purpose. Lord, we read it for the way it is. Press down, shaking and overflowing in our life. And it will clean us up. It will give us a new direction to go. Your word says you're a light under our path and a lamp under our feet. Lord, my prayer for us today is that we walk in the word. Right. dividing it. Lord, that we become mature, eating the meat of the Word and not on the milk. Your Word says in Hebrews that we should be teachers. All of us should be teaching the Word. 
Lord, so I ask you to allow us to grow in grace today. Thank you. Thank you for a pattern of a man who was everything in the flesh, but counted it all lost to gain Christ Jesus in his life. Lord, may we count everything as rubbish if it doesn't honor Jesus. Lord, allow our lives to honor you. As we sing the song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Lord, shine brightly through each and every one of us. Lord, may we come into this saving grace today that's only found in Jesus Christ. We'll be quick to give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to pray for the food. If you'll give me 10 minutes, we'll open up the food line. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the spiritual food because your word says we cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Lord, so we thank you for your word today. But Lord, I ask you to bless the hands that are fixing to serve this physical food. Lord, thank you for the provision of it. Lord, may you get the glory not only out of the spoken word, but out of the food that's fixing to be fed. Thank you for these volunteers in this place today. Lord, we see the love of Christ in service today. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for Pastor Santosh. Thank you for Pastor Raul. Thank you for this place called Nehemiah. Lord, we love you today. We praise you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah! Come on, y'all. How about a big round of applause for Pastor Eddie Cox? You know, we got another favor here. My brother. How, how long have we been doing this, man? Uh, I would say at least nine, ten years, man. Man, it's been a long time, right? We've seen fire and we've seen rain. <laughs> here you go. what I'm talking about. Hey, yo. First off, I just want to say this, man. Listen. I spent about 10 years addicted to crack cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamines. I was homeless for about six years. And I got to the point in my life where I was just totally broken and I just had no way of coming out of this situation. And I cried out to the Lord and I said, God, if you're real, I need you to do something in my life. I was standing behind a dumpster on Sain and Buckner, Diamond Creek Apartments, at 2 a.m. in the morning. I had a crack pipe in one hand and I looked up and I said, God, I'd just rather go back to prison than live like this. And I'm here to tell you that the presence of God came behind that dumpster that evening and my life has never been the same since. So I'm here to share with you, I don't care if you're listening over there in the bushes, over there in the field, up front of the bridge, over there on Home Street, my prayer is that my words would speak directly to you. But I'm here to tell you right now that God is not concerned at where you're at, he's concerned at where you're going. God will meet you right in the midst of your darkness and bring light. I'm here to tell you that God loves you. I'm here to tell you that God loves you. God has his eyes on you. He has never forgotten you. And I want to say this, God will take your darkest moments and turn them into your most powerful testimony. So if you're hearing my words today, if you've been struggling the night before, I'm not concerned with that. If you've been getting high yesterday, I'm not concerned with that. If you've been homeless for the last year, I'm not concerned with that. What I'm concerned with is what is it that you want to do? Because if he can take a $2.50 home street crack fiend like me, somebody make some noise for Jesus. And he can set me free, I believe he can do it for anyone. Amen? Yeah. 
So I don't know. I, I prayed last night. I'm going to say this real quick. I prayed last night as I was in the Austin Street Shelter. And I seen the demon that we're fighting against today. I seen the spirit of the first. I seen the spirit of the third. Somebody should know what I'm talking about. Because if it's this time of the month, it's when everyone feels like they're okay. I got my money. <laughs> I don't need no help. I know God will heal me on the 8th, but on the 1st, I'm okay. Yeah, y'all don't want to make no noise because some of y'all ain't trying to be real. Y'all act like y'all been singing in the choir all your life. Some of y'all don't forgot about where we came from. But I'm here to tell you that I rebuke the spirit of the first. I rebuke the spirit of the third. There is no power in money. There is no power in anything besides Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you something. I'll holler at you on the fifth. I holler at you on the fifth. That's when you're feeling like, oh my God, I've done it again. Can I please do something different? And that's when the word of God sneaks in and says, I love you. Amen. And I'm so grateful that we serve a God that loves us on the fifth as much as he loves us on the first. Kill your people. Come on up. Let's 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 pray. Hey, Amen. Me and Mike, y'all come to the front, man. Make me feel love. I I, I, I know y'all in position and post. And I don't know if they're gonna allow y'all to do it, but y'all come up here to the front so we can have some fun together and worship together. My name is Ty Choice, and that's not even important. But what is important is the love of Jesus Christ. We are peculiar people. We are the men of Nehemiah. We just the ministry of some men that God has delivered, brought out of darkness. And everywhere we go, we share our real testimony.
a hand. Remember all the people that you talked about on that way up. You gon' see them again as our babies on planet. There's only one way. The one who created the stars and the sun. Who parted the seas and numbers our days. He said it is finished. The battle is won. Cut his telling. I'ma keep it relevant. It's evident. You not a spirit. I'ma stay straight in that fire for Christ. How you sold out for the Lord like a spirit? So just my appearance. You don't have that clearance. It's all talking mess. It's all in the face. I come in my face.
he will create and rise up a new army of men and women that worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Now I know that sometimes we get caught up in how that's supposed to look and how that's supposed to sound, but I'm here to tell you that God can use anything to give him glory. We are peculiar people. of God in his life, and, and, and but I, I'm always grateful and humbled to be uh, be helped by such an awesome person. So y'all make some noise for our leader, man, Colonel Lewis, man. Y'all know some yeah. 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 yeah, We love you, Colonel. Your weapons 
I'm ready to jump the deuce of Big Bob with a lit fuse. Need somebody call the bomb crew. Definitely mess with the wrong guy. He ain't know I had a strong crew. He ain't know that I'm the word to tell. He telling me call me got to. Got the blood like a club man. Nothing connect us but pain. Body of Christ in one spot. When we get together, that's a blood clot. Two or more than he in the spot. After we pray, we stress or not. I hold a lot, but the death's by. Can't believe I'm still shell shot. 